Dave Bedwood, uh, MNC Saatchi, creative director. The only things I can think of are quite sort of boring, really. Good teams, <laughs> time to write. Um, I think that's all you need, really. I think what, what, what I'd say would be that, I suppose with us joining MSC Saatchi and there's obviously the ex lean mean fighting machine people, it's a good combination of skills, I suppose, because you've got the digital bit um, mixed with the traditional bit. Actually, there's lots of crossover between the two. Um, and also, you don't have to worry about, like, talking about the medium anymore. You can just get on with, like, writing decent ideas that could go into anything and I think sort of there's less feels like there's less talk and more just sort of writing good stuff so I reckon we've got the edge over everyone else because they just talk a lot oh almost impossible um, crikey well look, the majority of my knowledge will come from previous company and it wasn't that difficult for us I don't think because the four of us who run it were just very involved in it and it was quite a flat hierarchy it's harder obviously when the agency becomes big and the ways of doing that are having very simple sort of at MC Saatchi it's brutal simplicity of thought is their overarching guiding principle uh, and I think that's great but sometimes with people who just come into the bit they don't know what that means it's how do you communicate that down and, and they always have to try and reinvent yourself all the time because you've got to let people know that you're doing something new and so I'd say um, I have no answers on that other than it's very difficult and you must keep trying. <laughs> With binoculars. No, imagine that. <laughs> That's the thing to say. Uh, you really do look... We get quite a lot of sort of creative teams sort of books come through and I, I think you just... You have books that are really good and then you meet the people and they sort of don't match up and you think, God, that'd be a pain in the ass to work with. And then you have people who are really great and the book isn't... So you're looking for that combination of... I probably err on people that you think have got potential to be great rather than might be great at this very minute. So people who sort of have a lot of enthusiasm, all the obvious stuff, but they've got work that's interesting, might not be perfect, but you just think they're going to be... So if you sort of try and hire on their future ability rather than where they are. So, yeah, it's talent that way, really. Oh, assess would, would literally, it's just on, um, you know, I, d I try and make sure that, you know, you're dealing with, you're dealing with creative team like d on a daily basis with them and talking with them about their work constantly. And I think you assess, I think you're, you, well, for me anyway, you're constantly assessing, assessing people rather than having no contact with them and have a 360 review where you're suddenly all professional and do a whole, th you know, I think you should just be constantly doing it really. So I, I assess constantly, I suppose. Um, and it's all about their work and how they adapt and how they learn. Um, tricky thing about any creative role in our business is it's, you know, it, I suppose it's art on one, or we want to think it's art, one end, and it's business. It's like you want it to be pure and creative, but you've got to, you know, you've got business objectives and it's people who can sort of manage to navigate that and work with clients and adapt and collaborate with clients and stuff. Is they're, they're quite, that's quite a tricky skill. So try to help teams sort of know what battles to fight and what not and not just be a creative because they don't get it you know it's all about the idea you know they do get that but they've got other perspectives so I think I'm not really answering your question other than saying that you for me it's just an, an ongoing natural sort of um, dialogue between the teams and if you lose that then probably there's problems you know with the team on the one hand, I'm still quite active in writing work, so you hope that you being involved in the same job that they are, you're not like up here going, telling them what to do. And so you, I mean, I, I do that job, and I suppose through the work you do and how you do it, you hopefully set a decent example, and they want to sort of... Um, I think most creators want to work with people who they think are good, and if you're not proving that you're good yourself, other than just giving motivational speeches, then and it's all a bit hollow, really. So I try and work on a lot of stuff, work with um, work with teams on stuff. I don't. I, I'm not very good at the. I don't. I haven't got anything to say about the motivational thing. I think that sort of does it for me. 
it's all about the work, isn't it? And making sure you're. I'd probably like to spend more time, perhaps, on with teams uh, working with them on it. But I don't do any like grand day outs or. I don't know what other people. What do they do? What do you? What are you supposed to do? So to take them out and stuff. <laughs> yeah, give uh, take them for a drink. Source LF are London's leading creative communications and media recruitment agency. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to this channel. Take the moment to watch another of our videos on screen now.